How the fuck is MMA not in the Olympics? I mean, I think MMA should be in the Olympics 100%. It's also an international sport. Yes, correct. And then people will say, well, that's because, you, you, you know, you can have Volkanovski represent Australia because he's a pro. Well, the NBA does it. Yeah. LeBron's a pro. They're in the Olympics. This is one of the reasons I don't think Dana and a lot of, maybe not the other leagues, but maybe the UFC doesn't He's push so for it. Because dumb. think about it. Francis would represent uh, Africa. What? So you could potentially oh. have Francis versus John Jones <laughs> on the Olympic platform <laughs> and the UFC wouldn't benefit from it. Hmm. But also if you th it's Francis so short-sighted because Africa. let's say John versus Francis happens at heavyweight or Tom Aspinall fought john jones in the olympics and won gold it just builds your asset even more a like gold mm. medal award winning and yeah you beat him in the olympics but now we're doing the ufc as the main event like it just builds right the resume you're just investing in your athlete i think it'd be dope i agree <laughs> i love Canada at the end they cuck in as usual i agree how many times has somebody told brendan that africa isn't a country and it's a continent how many times has he been told I feel like every single time it comes up, he gets told. But like I've said plenty of times on here, I think part of Brendan's redactness and what makes him incredible to kind of cover and laugh at, I feel like a lot of his redactness comes because he knows he's wrong, but he can't be bothered correcting himself because he feels like you get what he's trying to say. So when he says that Francis Ngannou is from Africa, and then he doesn't really acknowledge the fact that Africa's a continent and not a country. He's almost saying by default, I know what you are saying, that it's a continent. But let's be real. If I just say he's African, you know what I mean. He's just African. It doesn't really matter if you're from Cameroon, Nigeria, Ghana, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Angola, South Africa, Kenya. Africa's Africa. That's basically what he's basically saying. Dogs are dogs. Africa's Africa. That's why he's so redacted. Because he honestly, I feel like, knows he's saying it wrong. But he can't be bothered to try to me memorize the exact country in the continent of Africa that somebody is from. So he just say, it's Africa. Of course it's Africa. It's like the America thing. He does the same thing with the America. It says, oh yeah, he's just American. It's just like, what? But you, you can be from a place. You can have ancestry from another place also, similar to Brendan having half English ancestry and shit, that can play into who you are. It just doesn't mean because you're from a place, that's where you're from, and that's particularly you're it. It's so fascinating to see. Then on the other side of things, when it comes to the UFC in, in Olympics, you think somebody that... Brendan always kind of speaks about himself being quite business savvy, and he, I think he made that quote, or he said that quote, like, to Dana White when he was going through the beef with him, oh, I can do your job, you can't do mine, I'm a beast of a guy, you're stealing all my ideas, all this sort of like stuff, right? He, he, he kind of credit himself to being a bit of a you know clocked on guy business savvy dude i am struggling to see why somebody who has actually done the sport who's actually been a former ufc fighter would try to encourage ufc to be a part of the olympics knowing how difficult how brutal how taxing how tiring how unforgiving that sport is to try to have it be done in some sort of like tournament thing that can last over a couple of days like why would you do that why i think as fans as a fan as a casual fan as a hardcore fan whatever i don't understand why you want to push for the ufc to be an mma to, or mma to be in the olympics or ufc to be in the olympics i get why you'd want to push for it you just want to see more fights you want to see fun fights you think the olympics is boring whatever you just want to see your fighters fight more often but i think as a former athlete as a former professional fighter you're almost putting other people that do this thing into in danger by not considering their health and shit and how badly it would affect them how much time it would take away from them fighting already at the moment ufc already is in a bad place money wise because dana doesn't really not so respect the fighters but he kind of takes the piss out of the fighters with fighter pay already the fighters are in a way are in a place where unless you're a champion you kind of have to fight for your supper basically if you don't fight you don't eat that's how dana does it but unfortunately, the more you fight, the more susceptible you are to losing, the more susceptible you are to losing, the more you are on the line to get cut. So Dana has designed a system where they don't get paid a lot, but if you fight a lot, you get more, and if you fight well, you get bonuses. So imagine a scenario where there's also the, the avenue of the Olympics 
and the fighters are always looking for a way to kind of boost their profile, make more money, blah de blah blah blah. Now you're having these fighters not only compete in the UFC or or one championship, but also then go and fight <laughs> in the Olympics and compete in a tournament that what would last what three days? Well, over four days, five days, they'd be fighting what two or three times a day to get through certain rounds and shit. How would you score it? Like it's just crazy, 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 crazy that anybody who actually done the sport would actually advocate for something like that, especially considering, you know, the fucking abuse most of these fighters go through to put on fun fights for all of us to watch in the comfort of our own homes and our boxer shorts and shit. It's crazy. But for me, the best thing of this clip is still the Africa thing. He just can't ever get that right because he doesn't give a fuck to get it right. I think he knows Africa isn't a country, it's a continent, but he just doesn't give a fuck. It's actually Austin Casey, 32 on the a- a- ACT. 32 allegedly on the ACT, but he doesn't know that Africa is a continent and not a country. Honestly, legitimately one of the best clips I've ever seen. Play it one more time because I fucking love it. What the fuck is MMA not in the Olympics? I mean, I think MMA should be in the Olympics 100%. It's also an international sport. Yes, correct. And then people will say, well, that's because, you, you, you know, you can have Volkanovski represent Australia because he's a pro. Well, the NBA does it. Yeah. LeBron's a pro. They're in the Olympics. He's got such a, like, a baby brain, isn't it? His way of, like, computing or rationalizing or just coming to conclusions or thinking about things is such, it's such like an infantile. Well, LeBron does it. Well, basketball does it. It's like, bro, have you just not sat with your thoughts for just a, a couple of more seconds? Just a couple of seconds. Just sit with your thoughts. Think it through properly. Just, well, da 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 it's like, wow, bro. And this guy was a millionaire at one point, by the way. A millionaire at one point. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is one of the reasons I don't think Dana and a lot of, maybe not the other leagues, but maybe the UFC doesn't push for it. Because think about it. Francis would represent uh, Africa. And I love how he mentions Dana as a way to like make him sound like he knows what you're talking about. Yeah, you know Dana. You know business Dana. You know me and Dana on the same wavelength. You know business. You know blah, 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 blah. It's like, bro, because Francis would potentially represent, represent Africa. Francis is not no longer in the UFC. Cool. So you could oh. potentially have Francis versus John Jones mm-hmm. on the Olympic platform Damn. and the UFC wouldn't benefit from it. <laughs> but also if you th- it's so short sighted because let's say John versus Francis happens at heavyweight or Tom Aspinall fought John Jones in the Olympics and won gold, it just builds your asset even more. A gold mm. medal award winning and uh, yeah, he beat him in Olympics. But now we're doing the UFC as the main event. Like it just builds right. the resume. You're just investing in your athlete. I think the, be- the silence in the fucking room. The silence in the room. Be dope. I agree. I agree. Of course you agree. You paid your fucking salary. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> well, what did the comments say? Francis is from Cameroon, not Africa. Have we not banned Brendan from thinking yet? <laughs> the obvious, you can't have a bunch of dudes having MMA fights with a break of a day and then back to another fight. Exactly. Imagine Volk in a three round roar with Max and then fights Ilya two days later. Not to mention weight cuts. Guys would have to fight their real weight or keep making an artificial low weight for a couple of weeks in a row. Doesn't translate or done make sense. Another one. John Africa would represent Africa. <laughs> <laughs> of you um of you look at boxing at olympics it's not made up of the current world elite boxers who are pinnacle already world elites it's actually for young adults still forging their way eg mike tyson wilder joshua if mma made it to olympics it would only elevate the sport and help see in the newest stars that's actually a good point he's not making that point though he's talking about john jones and francis and Garner. that's actually a good point actually trying to figure out a way to get mma into the olympics but having it be like boxing where it's like up and coming, semi professional, semi whatever, amateur people coming up and shit. That's actually way more interesting as a way to kind of do it, as opposed to just having like the people you already see on fucking fight cards. Doesn't make any sense. Another one still thinks Africa's a country. He still doesn't know Africa isn't a country. What makes you think that if you opened up MMA in the Olympics, that UFC fighters would be the ones winning? Exactly. Good point. Even Rogan agrees that while the talent in the UFC is amazing, if it was lucrative as an NFL, NFL level athletes will be in the UFC dominating commonly. Most UFC guys are there because they have been, have to be, and will have to, and will tell you that. Give any of them an option 
of an NBA contract or getting punched in the face and they take the NBA or NFL every time, which is why they have the best athletes in the world. That's that's partly true. That's partly true. I agree with that, but I think it's changing nowadays. Though. There, there's a lot of like high-level athletes coming in as well who are choosing to go to UFC MMA route as well. Um, can't forget about injuries though, huge factor. Africa's a continent, Brandon. Brendan was so close to saying Francis was from France. <laughs> yeah, true. They would, that's a really good point. He was about to say that, isn't it? They would have to adopt a three-minute round. It doesn't count against professional record. How many fights would they have to go through? Dan Francis is going to represent an entire fucking continent in the Olympics. That's crazy. No pressure, Francis and Ghana. <laughs> yeah, Team Africa. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> imagine the Team Africa kits, honestly. The Team Africa national anthem. Like, honestly, can you imagine Team Africa? Honestly, man, this guy is like a genuine, unadulterated redact. Um, how many fights would they have to go through a few weeks period to compete? Would it be professional though? Am I right? Uh, LMAO, continents are hard. Exactly, continents are hard. I, I, I got to like that one. I got to like that one. Continents are hard. MMA careers are short enough as it is. Can we vote to see how much saliva Brian has in his mouth? <laughs> Africa's a continent. Da di da da da. Big up the street. Big up the fucking commenters. I fucking love them. They always echo some of the thoughts that I have and make me feel like I'm not going insane because Bappa makes some absolutely balmy calls, says some absolutely legitimately redacted stuff, and I love it when they correct him. I love it when they correct him. So great to see. Great to fucking see. 